Hello, I am Arumi, mascot of Hampyonggun. Hampyonggun is an ecological preserve which attracts butterflies and insects and is a pleasant place to live. And I'm Daomi. In Hampyonggun, there is a village called Unrin, where once lived a Taoist magician, Unrin Chosa. It is said that Urin Chosa was a man with a tall and imposing appearance, and here's a story about him. Hampyong, a legend in Urin village. During the second Japanese invasion in the mid Joseon period, a wave of Japanese soldiers was pouring into the Hampyong area. Villagers started to panic upon hearing this news. It is a catastrophe that the Japanese are invading. It is. Should we flee or stay? What a disaster. I don't know. Hearing the villagers, Urim Chosa came up with an excellent idea to ward off the invaders and said to them, I have an idea, so don't worry everybody. Go home and prepare to flee. After the people returned home, using Taoist magic, Urim Chosa transformed a field in front of the village into a sea. The Japanese invaders who were about to sweep through the village stopped there in bewilderment because the field which they had just seen turned into a sea at that instant. What am I, bewitched? I just saw a field up ahead, but now it's an ocean. Is that a sea or a field? I don't have any clue either, sir. This is very unusual. While the Japanese invaders were at a loss, Unlim Chosa led the people to safety. Go quickly and take refuge in the mountain. Oh uh, God, we should go. go. Quickly, run. The Japanese were perplexed at what they were seeing, but they decided to resume the advance. It's not complicated. We will either drown or advance. Move on with me. Having no other choice, the Japanese soldiers dashed riding horses into the sea, and something odd happened again. A cloud of dust rose up from the sea as they advanced, and they arrived at the village. So now it turns out this is not a sea, but a field. It was certainly a mirage of a sea, but it is definitely land. Hmm. Someone must be performing magic. Find the disgusting magician and bring him to me at once. Yes, sir. The Japanese soldiers realized it was Ulim Chosa's magic, but were unable to find him as he was already in the hideout. Finding nothing but the evacuated village, the invaders moved on towards Yongguang, leaving the village untouched. Thus, the village was named Ulim Village, after its savior, Ulim Chosa. The field in front of the village was then called Borum Badetul, which means a field that was a sea for 15 days. Still today, the field in front of the Uri Mao village is called Borum Padatul. <laughs>